both Citadel and Citadel Securities have quantum businesses that may leverage machine learning. How do you see that playing out in our firms and in the industry as a whole? In the market making business, you'll see a real application for machine learning because you have so much data to parameterize the models with. When you get into longer horizon issues, machine learning starts to break down. To our fundamental equities business, not nearly as important as you, as you might want to believe it would be because the underlying systems are not stationary. In a machine learning model, obviously they all leverage patterns and data, and when the underlying system changes, the models are rendered impaired. And this is great for humanity. The rate of change in the world means that for your longer horizon investments, machine learning will not have the impact on markets that many pundits like to talk about. Usually machine learning models are very good at high signal to noise problems, but in, in quant finance, a machine learning model isn't really common for just over 50% correctness. How do you think that that is successful? It's successful in the dimensions of the business where just over 50% still turns into a fairly significant profit stream. And that's when your trading becomes very short-term and horizon. How do you leverage machine learning in a variety of other ways? You can score research reports done by Wall Street on a company. Just bullish or not bullish is a research report. You can use machine learning techniques to augment the data sets that we have that actually have very interesting direct observations around consumer behavior. And ML allows us to, to augment that data in some very interesting, powerful ways. So you find uses for machine learning in some of your longer horizon problems, but it, it's often in an ancillary capacity, not in the direct line of sight of, I have a, a, a set of terms and away we go. There's been a moment in time where being a really good statistician or really understanding ML models was a sufficient condition to make money. That won't be the case if it's even still the case today for much longer. So any strategy that depends at its core just on an advantage in mathematics or statistics is likely to be commoditized away pretty quickly. And that's where domain expertise becomes so important. If you can contextualize the problem, if you can have strong Bayesian priors, if you can understand causality in a different way than than people that are just using the, the statistical models do, you have a chance for a real competitive advantage. ChatGPT, how do you see that being useful? And what other technologies do you see changing in the history? Obviously, ChatGPT and the, the whole field of large language models has a lot of very interesting use cases. Most languages of, of 15, 20 years ago are now dead for all intents and purposes. Tools like ChatGPT will do a phenomenal job as, as these through the next couple of iterations in facilitating our country letting go of a huge amount of legacy code. All great firms that have been in existence for 20, 30 years, we have a great legacy. And I need to constantly unwind that legacy and think about how should we run the business as if we were a super well capitalized startup in 2023 with the resources and talent that we have today.